Hello everybody, Storm in a Teacup, Tegan here. I hope you're all well and today I'm going to be doing the Outlander tag that I was tagged in like a month ago by Heather Forever Books. So all of the questions in this tag is based on the Outlander book series. If you haven't read it, I would highly recommend it. Or if not, even watch the TV show because the TV show is absolutely brilliant as well. We're going to jump straight in with question number one. You touch some standing stones and gets transported back in time. Where do you hope to land? This is a really easy one for me. I am super obsessed with all things to do with ancient Egypt. So I would pick the 18th dynasty and to be a little bit more specific during the reign of Tutankhamun just because... I want to see what it was like in ancient Egypt and also I'd really like to know how he actually died because it is a bit of a mystery. Um, so I think that's around date wise like 1200 BC so a little while back. <laughs> Question number two. So Claire is a really good nurse. What type of skill would you want that a fictional character excels at? As it is exam time for me right now the first character to pop into my head is Hermione Granger. Here she is in my illustrated copy of Harry Potter. I'm picking Hermione because she's like ace at studying which would really come in handy right now but she's also an incredible witch and I would really like to be able to use magic. <laughs> Question number three. So Jamie and Claire are ultimate relationship goals but who is your favorite fictional couple? This was a tricky one for me because there are so many great couples that I've read. Um, however at the moment, at this point in time, I'm going to have to go with Vane and Bride from Night Play by Cheryl and Kenyon. Now this is part of the Dark Hunter series, I have spoken about it before. The reason why I love these two is just they come from two completely different worlds. I mean, Vane's a werewolf, so <laughs> and Bride isn't. But they're both beautiful and their love is just so nice and he would do anything for her. And she would do anything for him and they just have a really gorgeous romance and it just makes me feel good. <laughs> Question number four. The ending of Outlander is shocking. What is one book that completely blew your mind? That book for me is We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. Now for anyone that hasn't read this book, it has a huge twist. It's very cleverly written. It is really, really jumpy writing. The main character, it's told from her point of view and it also like jumps back to different memories that she's sharing it's very and it feels very choppy when you're reading it but then as you start to find out more about the character it makes complete sense that the story is told in this way it is a really clever book when the twist was shown i had to reread it about three times just to kind of go okay wow this is this is happening and it's really cleverly written and I really enjoyed it and I need to check out more by this author because it was a very clever book. Question number five. So Scotland has a lot of castles and we do see quite a few of them in Outlander. What fictional kingdom would you want as your own castle and all? Narnia. Need I say more? Obviously, like, I'm talking about Narnia after the drama and everything's all happy, but Narnia. <laughs> Question number six. Outlander has some very steamy scenes. What is your favorite romance novel? Now, <laughs> I couldn't pick just one, <laughs> but I'm going to have to go with the Dark Hunter series. There are many a steamy scene in those books and they are all incredibly well written. So the Dark Hunter series by Cheryl and Kenyon, if you want a great book with some great steamy scenes, check them out. <laughs> Question number seven. So the Jacobite Rising is a huge plot point in the Outlander series. What book has your favourite battle in it? Now I don't have a copy of this book with me at the moment, but that book is The Two Towers from Lord of the Rings and it's the Battle of Helm's Deep. The way that J.R.R. Tolkien writes is so very descriptive that when you're reading these battle scenes, you feel like you're there. And you can also tell that he has that experience. Um, and it it's so confronting to read, but it's also so well written that you know exactly what's going on and then to see that scene come alive in the movie was just incredible so yeah battle of helm's deep question number eight so jamie and claire get married very unexpectedly what fictional character would you want to marry on a whim lestat from anne rice's vampire chronicles it just seems like something lestat would do like <laughs> he's a very um spontaneous character who just follows his heart. Now, 
I don't know if he would be a very good husband just because he is a little bit selfish and gets carried away with himself quite a bit, but he would be a very interesting guy to meet and marry for a short amount of time <laughs> and hopefully he, you know, vampire. So that would make things a bit tricky. <laughs> Question number nine. So Scotland is a very beautiful place. What is one fictional place you would love to visit? This is easy for somebody like me and you may have already guessed my answer. Hogwarts. Hands down Hogwarts. I just, I, I really, really, really want to go to Hogwarts. <laughs> And the last question, question 10, if you could change the past, would you? Absolutely not. I believe everything happens because it's supposed to happen. And if I changed the past, I wouldn't have gone through the things that I've gone through to become who I am and to be where I am today. And look, things are going all right. So <laughs> everything happens for a reason. So no, I wouldn't change the past. And I tag everybody. If you like the Outlander series or you just thought this was a really fun tag, let me know if you do it in the comments down below. Now, if you're wondering where I'm up to with my classic readathon, last month I read Hamlet and it was really, really lovely to jump in with the Bard and to read Shakespeare once again. If you haven't read any of Shakespeare's work, I would highly recommend it. There's a reason why he's so well known, he's so brilliant, and it was really fun getting to read Hamlet again. It, I forgot how beautifully written and worded everything was. This month, I am jumping in with a very different classic. I am going to be reading Dracula by Bram Strokes. Now, I have read this one before, but I just felt like doing a bit of a reread this month for my classic. <laughs> and that's all I've got for you guys this week. If you've read any of the books that I've mentioned or know any of the characters I've mentioned, I'd love to know what you think about those characters. And how are you guys? What are you up to? What are you reading? Let me know in the comments down below. It'd be really lovely to chat to you guys there. I'll see you next week. Bye.